Singing Academy. And then the next question. Very interesting. It's personally interesting to me because I hear it a lot from real people who are reluctant to take voice lessons. We are reluctant to take any advice and they prefer to go and research a lot of stuff by themselves, but they don't want personal tuition because they have this misconception that taking voice lessons, working with a teacher, will change the sound of their voice. Um, that a teacher will somehow instill their own values and their own ideas of what they want their voice needs to be and transform and change you into something that you are not. If a teacher does this, does this to you, run. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because that means the teacher is one dimensional mm -hmm. and that they're using their shtick and their knowledge um, to, to teach you one thing. I know I had a, a student that came to me and they went to a particular school here in Melbourne and they, they taught R&B and they just said they wanted me to do these R&B songs. They didn't want to do R&B songs, they wanted to do pop songs. Um, so they ended up coming to me anyway um, and more, more rock songs, Juliet, her name is. A good singing teacher is going to work with you to make you achieve the best possible outcome vocally as quickly as they possibly can. That's what we do at Vox Sync and we're not here to change anyone. My motto um, is to, I spoke to someone today uh, that got me on Facebook, George, um, and I said, we want to get the best out of your voice. We don't want you to sound like anyone else. We just want to get the best out of your voice. And that's all it basically is. I, I, I think that a, a good teacher can fast track you. It doesn't matter whether it's, you know, whether you're studying business or whether you're studying jujitsu or whatever it might be, a, a good teacher is <coughs> going to fast track you and, and they shouldn't be, be making you change stylistically mm -hmm. or change your voice. All of our scales, we say to all of our students, we want you to do them in, in your personality. Yeah. And I say to all of my students, unless they're in a tribute band, well, when you're in a tribute band, or if you're doing theatre, you need to sort of sound like the person or as young as yeah. or old as what the person is or in a tribute band. But other than that, we are just, we are just, if we're doing covers, we are learning the skills from that particular cover song and we want to do it in your personality. Absolutely. Um, so your voice shouldn't really change unless the teacher is telling you to do some other genre. Um, like if you're doing contemporary and they want you to sing classical. But uh, no, you, you shouldn't be changing. You still keep your personality and you'll be doing your You'll be singing all the scales when, when you're doing scales and I'm practicing in your personality anyway. Singing Academy. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you want to learn more about your voice, please post your questions in the comments below. If we pick out one of your questions to do a video segment for, you will win a free lesson with myself or one of my fantastic singing teachers. So until next time, aim high, chase your dreams, believe in yourself and have fun singing.